Okay. Uh, just making sure everything. I, I, I kind of keep an eye on the capture card tonight, making sure everything is not getting stuttery. On the eve of the full moon. Okay, we already we already saw this. Okay. What's wrong with you, Susano? Where's that Mr. Brave face of yours you always put on? Yeah. So anyway, long story short, I switched the capture card over to the Direct Show driver versus whatever the default Elgato driver is for the HD60S, yes, and it seems to be working better, I think. I mean, knock on wood, we haven't had any stutters yet today. So, I don't know. I guess we're going to the... Oh, wait, is that Kushi right there? Yeah, okay. You okay, sweetie? Don't try to stop me, you soon. Or you, Snowy. If Orochi's chosen victim runs away, disaster will befall Kamiki. But that's not why I'm doing this. What? There's too much suffering in the world. I'm going to use my Saki to rid us of this evil menace. You crazy? We're talking about the dreaded Orochi here. That attitude's gonna get you killed. You really think you'd win with a little jug of Saki? Yes, Asun. I guess I am crazy. But it's the only way. My Saki is the only answer. I'm going. And I'll defeat that monster with my Saki. Ha ha ha! Alright, hold on to your butts. Not you too, Ami. Dang it. Why are you getting all worked up? There's no hope of winning. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. Alright, boys. We gotta take Saki Waifu for a ride to the moon cave. We got the speed boost. Come head. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty good. Where the hell was it? Oh, right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Ah, that's fine, actually. That's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Good enough. The moon cave was right up about here. What's this lad doing? What is this lad doing? Kushi, what on earth are you doing? I heard a deafening peal of thunder from the village just now. Believe me, this is no night to be wandering about outside. Oh, no big deal. We're just going to go fight the, the eight-headed dragon. No big deal. Nothing to be concerned about at all. Fuck, this place does look pretty spooky. I take it you enjoyed your rendezvous with the sacrificial girl? None of your business, you half-baked prophet. Yep, we're really doing it. There goes the barrier. We got the sacrifice. Now all we need is drunk dummy Susanna to show up so we can bail him out again. Hey, that's the serpent crystal he stole from us. What's he playing there? The Song of Time? <laughs> we got we got a piece of the Triforce here. Uh, the Song of Time on the on the Ocarina. Now we just need to unleash the Master Sword. And then we can become... Adult Wolf. Well, the Moon Cave is open. You've played your part. Now leave the rest to me, Amaterasu. I don't think I can trust Waka to handle this. I don't have a lot of faith in this lad. Oh, shit. Yeah, 
Thanks, Walker. He did a great job saving us. Damn donkey. Is he stuck on the other side of the barrier? Yeah, what a fucking idiot. Are you... What's the meaning of this? Meaning? Does the saying, like a moth to a flame, ring any bells? I mean, you went in on your own accord, no? Of course, only one other besides the victim is supposed to get in. I guess you really don't count, my little bouncing friend. Dang it. Looks like we've been set up again, Ame. Were you not planning to enter the cave anyway, ma chérie? It is time for you to shine, Amaterasu. Now, let me leave you with this little prophecy. Oh no. <laughs> Look, the moon. The moon. The moon came out. Oh, pardon, ma chérie. That wasn't a very good one. Au revoir. Thanks, Waka. What is this guy's deal? What a fucking weirdo. Well, guess we're stuck. We were planning on taking care of that Orochi anyway. Cut it out, Ami. It's no use. Let's go check the place out. Bamboozled again, indeed, my friend. <laughs> fucking, dude, Waka is so weird. I don't get what that dude's deal is. I have no idea what his purpose is as a character still. Ah, uh, there's fucking Susano. He's got like Popeye arm syndrome. He's got little tiny stick biceps and then like huge, massive forearms. <laughs> Dude, this place looks pretty fucking spooky. Pretty spooky. All right, Moon Cave. Hold on to your butts. Huh? Oh, great. The stairway's crumbled away. God or not, this is just too big a leap for you. We either have to find a way around, or we can go our way. You know. Our way. Yeah, I know, man. I know it'll take a lot of guts to do that now. Alright, so. I'm assuming... Big brush. Wait, really? No, I can't draw a stairway? Uh-oh. Okay, now I'm actually confused. I thought when he said our way, he meant drawing a new staircase. <laughs> but apparently, that's not what he meant. Ame, this is our only option. I mean, it doesn't look like there's any way around. And if we waste any more time here, poor little Kushi will get gobbled up. Fuck, do I really just have to jump and go for it? <laughs> I don't think that was what I was supposed to do. I don't know. Uh, okay, I guess it was. Weird. Whoa, that was quite a fall. What have we gotten ourselves into this time? Oh, now that we're down here, I hope you can sniff out Kushi's whereabouts for a ball. Put it right there, Fluffy. What do you think you're doing? What business do you have with the Moon Cave? Stronghold of our master, the Greater Rochi. Over there. Ruh -ruh. Oh, you. Never thought I would see your face here. I could spot you a mile away. <laughs> you fixing for a fight, you chumps? Well, we don't have time to mess around with bit players like you. But if you insist, then hurry up so I can cut you to shreds. Oh, you're just a dumb old wolf. Huh? Yeah, look at that foolish mug. You've got to be the dumbest looking wolf I've ever seen. Wow, this is kind of hurting my feelings. And to stray so far into a place like this. You're not too bright, are you, champ? I don't think Fluffy here is much of a threat. Let's not waste any more time here. Yeah. I wonder if Fluffy's just hungry. Oh, they gave me a turnip. Thanks, lads. Uh. Wait, what? Okay, calcified cavern. I see a golden, uh, a golden arch there, which is frightening. Can I get through here? No. What do you want, Fluffy? You're not thinking about going through this gate, are you? Well, think again. The area beyond this gate is no place for a mutt like you. Now run off and play somewhere else. Alright. Well, another another turn up. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Well, yeah, so the, the golden gate is like a is like a save point. Oh, there's the magical sake. Thunderbird. 
Hey, isn't this that babe Kushisaki? Hmm, there's still some left. But I'm not sure it'll be enough to take care of Orochi. Oh boy, I'm a little I'm a little concerned about this save gate here. That makes me think there's gonna be some bad shit coming up. Uh well. That's what you gotta see. Hold on to your butts. Do I have any upgrades available yet? No. <laughs> no, I do not. Can I get up here? Like, wall jump? Oh, yeah, we can. Ah, oh, there is a... There's a water spout here. Whoops. Don't mind if I do. Oh. So I need a... So we are. We're going to get some kind of fire. Whoops. We're going to get some... Oh, ice hurts me, huh? We're going to get some kind of fire ability here at some point. Because that appears to be a very icy chest. So yeah, welcome to the Ice Palace, lads. Uh, what are we doing here? Holy bone. Damn. Oh, I can't wall jump off of those, apparently. Okay. Whoa, what? Oh, okay. I can just walk through this part. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there that we can actually get to, is there? No, I don't think so. So that leaves me with not much here. There's a little cursed gate. I guess we'll... Camera, please. I guess we'll clear this out real quick and see what the deal is here. We haven't really got to test out our new weapon on an actual good enemy yet. What are you? <laughs> I have no idea. What? <laughs> oh no. Alright, I'm gonna try wind. Uh, that kind of works. Oh shit, I'm taking hits for days here. We're actually doing a good bit of damage though with our with our new rosary weapon here. Messed him up pretty nicely. I took a lot of damage, <laughs> so not exactly my best fight there, but we did okay. So not really sure what I'm doing here. That is, wait, mask? Oh, okay, that gets us through the gate, I see. One of the masks the imps wear. Oh, no, they're gonna let me, dude. Oh, they're gonna let me, okay, you know what we have to draw on the mask. I gotta be real. <laughs> I'm a child. Oh, yep, there it is. There it is. It's a fucking dick mask. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I'm almost 29 years old. I shouldn't be doing this still. But here I am. It doesn't look half bad on you. In fact, you look better than your run of the mill imp. Yeah, I like it. Especially like the, the lopsided balls. It really brings it all together. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are now Dick Wolf. But seriously, this is no time to fool around. Only an imp would get a kick out of wearing a mask like this. While we're screwing around here, that Orochi's gonna take poor little Kushi in. I can't bear to think about it. <laughs> That's funny no matter how old you are. <laughs> Dude, it is kind of funny. Look, the, the balls even kind of jiggle. <laughs> All right, I'm done. I'm done with the dick mask. I'm done talking about it. We're just gonna pretend it never happened. We're gonna move on. We still gotta save Saki Lady. I can't believe they just let you draw whatever you want on there. They should, they had to have known what was gonna happen. So why is this... It's really weird that that's here. The Golden Gate. I figured there'd be like a boss or something. Normally that's what we get. So is this gonna work? What are you doing here? Looking for intruders? 
There was that silly looking wolf a while back, but nothing else out of the ordinary. <laughs> Holy shit, they really are this dumb. We got this place covered. Get back to your post now. Post? What post? The sacrificial ceremony for the Great Orochi is to be held today. Everyone's busy getting ready. There's no time to play around. What are you waiting for? Get in there and help. Oh, uh, okay. I'm on it. No problem, lads. Don't you worry. We got this shit covered. All right. What are we... Was that a tree I just saw I could bloom right there? That was kind of what it looked like. Where was that? Oh, uh, wait, can I bloom you? Probably not. Nah, okay. It was worth a shot, though. Figured I'd give it a go. Uh, so we have a locked door over here on the left. We have Spooky Imp Lad here in the middle. We have weird ice area here. I'm assuming we can't do it because I see this looks like it needs to be lit on fire. So I'm assuming we need to get the fire ability before we can do anything here. Where's the appetizer? Lord Orochi always demands an appetizer before he dines on his human sacrifice. What's taking so long? Should have been ready by now. Lord Orochi's gonna chew us up and spit us out if we don't hurry. What on earth are those darn cooks doing? Okay. Oh wait, he has more to say. Uh, hey, don't ring the Epicurean bell yet. You're not supposed to ring it until the appetizer is ready. Lord Orochi will punish us if it's rung before that. Alright. Let's talk to this lad here in the middle. I think we're gonna want to go through that doorway though. Huh? What do you want? I bet you want to trade jobs with me. Well, the answer is no. I've always wanted to operate this elevator. And now, finally, it's my turn. I couldn't wait to turn the crank. That makes the elevator move, you know. When the water below recedes, I'm gonna raise and lower this elevator to my heart's content. Great. Thanks for that, buddy. Oh, I guess we're going through, oh, this is where the cooks are. So I guess we're going in here. Oh yeah. There's something going down in here. Is that a gigantic rice ball? No, it's not a rice ball. Yeah, we need to get some fire abilities, though. This is a fine time for the chef to disappear. Last time I remember, he was right in front of that big pot. Where could he be? Uh, where could he be, I wonder? Uh, let's see here. So, we probably want to do a little something like this. A little vine action. Oh, what? Oh, I see what we want to do. Okay. Makes sense. Oh, is that a save mirror? It certainly appears to be. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, what? There we go. Yeah, we'll definitely save real quick. We are now in the moon cave. Okay, so we need to loop both of these onto the, whoops. How did that even happen? I was totally going for the, the handle. What even happened right there? Give us another go. There we are. There we are. Okay. Oh, the cook fell in the pot. Owie, owie, owie. Hot stuff. Hey, sweetheart. Yeah, you. Get me out of here before I end up well done. Owie, owie, owie. <laughs> what the fuck? Phew. That was a close one, darling. I'm the fabulous head chef of this kitchen, by the way. No need for formalities. You can call me a Jimmy? I'm, I'm assuming a Jimmy. I was cooking with such tender loving care that I totally spaced out and almost cooked my own goose. Tender loving care. What an absolutely fabulous mask you have there, sweetheart. Uh, thanks, I drew it myself. Say, how would you like to be my assistant? Assistant? Oh no, I... I have to whip up a lip-smacking appetizer to wet Lord Orochi's appetite before the time comes for the human sacrifice course. <laughs> this game... <laughs> Dude, this game does not take itself very seriously. Uh, please, I'll make it worth your while. Wait, wait. We uh, didn't come here to help, you see. Uh, how should I put it? Never mind that. It's just that I've run into a wee bit of a problem. I'm almost done, but alas, I've run out of my secret ingredients. 
I could finish up without them. But then I wouldn't be putting my heart into my beloved's meal. Beloved? Well, I can relate to your obsession with detail. I mean, quality does suffer when you cut corners. All artists know that. Anyway, I'm in, fruitcake. What the fuck? That's fabulous news, sweetheart. There are four secret ingredients I'll need you to find. Now pay attention. All of them can be found somewhere in the moon cave. Okay, here goes. Ogre liver, lips of ice, eyeball of fire, black demon horn. Ooh, okay. Here, take this key with you. The rest is up to you, darling. Okay. So I guess we need the key to find the ingredients. Oh wait, there's one mark right down here. But we can't get past here. Oh, it freezes me solid. Yikes. Okay, we can't get past there without fire. So, no go there. Uh, I wonder what's back out here. I'm just curious if there's any more ingredients out here we can get. Or if they're all through the dungeon. Or all through the locked door, I should say. Let me see what's out here. Uh, no, nothing here. Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess we're going through the spooky eyeball door. At some point, we're going to get some kind of fire ability here. That's that's going to be the ticket. Did I drop the key? Oh, shit, I did drop the key, didn't I? Uh, I got to go back and get it again? Shit. All right, hold on. We got to go reacquire the key. But yeah, we're definitely going to need some kind of fire ability. Uh, all right, where was that key at, friendo? There she is. I'll be taking this. See ya. Let's go bust the creepy eyeball door open. And now we got some exploring to do. Dude, the fucking doors. That's horrifying. we have here Let's see some hook shot targets uh, what uh, double what uh, maybe I'm supposed to go to this one yep I think we are going on here. And what do we have here? Wait, what? Oh, no. So I guess I need to go real quick from there? Like, it's not going to actually hold me. So we've got to, like, get to it ASAP and then jump to another one, I think. Yeah, and then like a little something like this, I think. You want me to pull some fast moves here? There we go. Oh god, are they all like this? They are, they're all droopy ones. That's not good. So it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be... I hope you're quick at hookshot, basically. I mean, this really isn't that bad. Uh... Because, I mean, time stops when you bust the brush out. So, really, it's not really that difficult. Uh, what the fuck are you? Check out this eyeball lantern on me. I don't trust the shifty-eyed thing. It's kind of freaking me out. I'd feel a whole lot better if we could make it shut somehow. I don't know. Can I wind you? Is this door going to open until the thing... The drawing can be kind of janky sometimes. Uh... It's a, the, the drawing is kind of hit and miss. Sometimes it works really well. See, this would honestly be perfect on the Switch. <laughs> I know I know, saying games are perfect on the Switch is like a meme, but this would be the game where the, where the drawing mechanic would work really well with the Switch's touchscreen. Uh, because it's like you can use the PS4 touchpad 
But the PS4 touchpad is worse than the sticks. Uh, the, the sticks do not work well at all. I don't enjoy them. Or, I'm sorry, the touchpad doesn't work well at all, is what I meant. How do I... What do I do to you? I think we need to, we need to bonk this to get the door shut. But I have no fucking clue what to do here. Uh, but yeah, it, it is. It's a little it's a little sensitive in terms of where you where you're drawing and where you need to draw. How am I gonna bust you open? Like what if I slash it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Easy enough. <laughs> I, I should have known it would be something that dumb. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> yeah, but see, this game would this game would honestly be perfect on the Switch. Uh, like, oh fuck! Oh, I should have guarded. I forgot I have the guard. Um, where's the nut? This guy's gonna get his world destroyed. Okay. Got him. Yeah, our damage is actually pretty good right now. We're we're cranking out the hits. Like normally, when I was still using the old whip weapon, when I would when I was fighting those guys in the first temple, it took me like four combos. Oh, there's the ogre liver. Uh, it took me like four combos to knock one of those dudes down. And now we are fucking them up big time. It was like two combos. Oh, okay. I can't chop these. Wasn't sure. Yeah, now it's like two combos to knock one of those dudes out. So, pretty good. Let's see if I can get both these with one slash. There we are. Okay, but that's only one ingredient. Can I slash you guys? Yes, sir. Wow, that fucking... That zucchini is thick. Alright, I think we are good in here. Well, so now I have the ogre liver. Now we gotta make the same return trip here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Almost lost at that time. <laughs> we almost died. Oh, this one I can just fall. I'm safe here. And then this one is not safe either. This one is safe, though. There we go. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of ink. <laughs> yeah, I think we need more ink wells here soon. Like, having to chain all these ink... Having to chain all these, uh... That's the only problem is, so I guess I didn't think about that. Normally, when you could just stand on the, on the platforms, you could wait for your ink to recharge. Oh, there's a thing there. Was that water spout there the first time? Yeah, I mean, normally you could stand on there and wait for your ink to recharge, but when you have to chain them like that, uh, you don't have that option. You gotta just go. Which is, yeah. Like, if I had run out of ink in the middle of that, I would have been super screwed. Would have just fallen to our death. What do we got here? Where the hell am I? Oh, I'm up on the second floor, it looks like. There's another water spout. I guess this is our this is our way to get around until we get the elevator. We're gonna, at some point gonna have to drain the water to get the elevator active. I guess I wanna go up here as well. There's nothing really here. So I guess we're just gonna take the spout. to you butts. So what the hell is up here exactly? Well, so there is... Through this door, we have another item, it looks like. There's a locked door over here. So really only one way to go at the moment. I guess that's where... I guess this is where we're headed. Wait, we need fire. Uh, you want me to 
do here exactly? I mean, I know it's gonna freeze me. Yep. <laughs> Is he gonna give me a hint, though? Or do I just have to do it, I guess? Can I, like, knock this over? Oh, boy. Uh... Can I, like, blow this into... No. What do you want from me here? No. Huh. Oh, maybe I should read the... Uh-oh. Okay, I guess I'm not supposed to be able to do this yet. This is all just... Okay. That's what was supposed to happen, I guess. Lad here. Well, I guess we'll fight the spooky lads. Oh, fuck this guy again. I can actually, I can kill him before he even gets to attack, though. With the powered up. The powered up lasher is actually really good. This, I, this weapon is fucking solid. Way better than I thought it was at first. Like, all powered up, this thing is pretty decent. I keep forgetting to use my, my guard, but... Yeah, it's actually pretty nice. All right, so what have we done here? Made some water. Oh, I see, and then we need to spout into that bamboo lad there. Uh, I think I see what's going on here. Is there anything else I want to do down here? My map situation looking like not very good at the moment. Uh, so what we need to do is a little bit of this. Go like that, and like that. Oh yeah. There we go. Oh, that's gonna drain probably the water from the elevator. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Alright. Makes sense. See, I really the dungeons are great. The dungeons are very Zelda-esque. They're still kind of they still kind of have that uh different feel a little bit. This game definitely has its own unique spin on the dungeons. But I would say generally the dungeons feel very Zelda y. Okay, so that'll get me up really. Why would I want to go up there? I kind of want to go up there though, just to see. But I want to go get this chest first of all. Um, uh, what? Yeah, the dungeons are very Zelda, for sure. Alright, so what's in here? Exorcism slip. Alright. And... Okay, so I think it's basically... Oh, what's that over there? I think I can make it over there, though. At least not right now. I'm... Oh, I guess I have to go up where the elevator is. I guess that's where the... I guess that's where I'm actually supposed to go. What it looks like. Let me talk to this imp real quick and just see what he has to say. But yeah, I think that's actually where I'm supposed to be headed. Don't you go opening the valve without the signal. I'm warning you, Lord Orochi doesn't suffer fools lightly. Don't you realize we're just cogs in the machine? I'll be a good little cog and stick to what you're supposed to do. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we can make it. Can we make it over there? I don't feel like it's possible. See if I can make this jump. I there's no way I can make this jump. That's way too fucking far. Yeah. You know, I might be able to wall jump though. I I'm gonna go check that out. Oh wait, that's ice over there anyway. Yeah, I need fire. Okay, so we can't do that without fire anyway. Never mind. That is definitely ice right there. So for now, I guess we're just going back up the back up the tube where all the water went to. See where this gets us. We need to get that fire. The fire's gonna open up like three different ways to go here at some point. As soon as we get our hands on it. Oh shit. This fucking lad again. He dies so quick though, like he doesn't even get to attack. If we just like if we just beat the crap out of him with the with the lasher, he doesn't even really get a chance. He just gets fucked up. <laughs> like completely smoked him. Poor little lad never even had a chance, really. Uh, can we chop these? Yes. They have... Garbo. 
What if I were to chop the eyeball? Okay. Well, that's new. I guess we want to head... I don't know, do we want to head down to the spooky deep area? I mean, the water spot's only going to take us up to the first floor, right? So I don't think we want to go up here just yet. Oh, wait. Yeah, okay. I mean, the elevator could take us up, but we've already been as far up as we need to go, I think. Let, let's go down. Let's go down. I want to see what's down here. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, I probably have to take the elevator down there. I probably have to take the elevator down. Holy smokes. Get a load of that, Ami. The water at the bottom of this pit looks poisonous. Really? You don't say, lad. Even you wouldn't stand a chance. Even I wouldn't stand a chance if I fell in there. Interesting. Interesting. If only I had known. Alright, let's try and take the elevator down there, maybe. Let's, let's think about this in a slightly smarter fashion than what we just did. Now that the water below has receded, I'm surprised to see how deep the shaft is. I feel all weak in the knees. The elevator will go crashing down to the bottom if I don't keep a firm grip on this crank here. So you better not disturb me. Got it? Oh, don't be disturbed, you say? Wait, what? Come on, lad. Let that shit go. What if I wind him? What if I bomb him? Bomb doesn't do it either, huh? Uh, what do we have left? Slash? Oh, there we go. Oh shit, gotta keep slashing. Where the hell is the bottom? Jesus Christ, this thing is super deep. I'm running out of ink here. Glad you gotta get me down here. Ah, oh, damn it! Oh, I fell in the fucking water again. Ah, oh, shit. Come on, lad. Alright, done dicking around here. Whoops. guard the door here. Boy, I just love this job. It makes life worth living. I recently added a special mechanism to the door. Now it's really hard to open. The sight of people trying with all their might to open the door makes me laugh my head off. Okay. It's fire. Shady. These rocks? Shady. Look at that door. Okay, that doesn't help me at all. Alright, so... Oh, fire's back. Can I, like, pick up? No. Okay. Well. So the door is really hard to open, you say. Oh, no. Whoa, wait a minute. Okay. Okay, get a really good look at these eyeballs. I just realized it's not just, it's not just like, a shaft. I thought it was just, like, a, a, like a regular lamp on a post. It's actually a fucking hairy-ass leg in a sandal. Damn, look at those things. Wow, those are pretty hideous. All right, I'm assuming I just need to slash all four at once, right? Uh, whoops. There we go. Okay, that wasn't really that complicated. He's trying to make it sound like he was really gonna trick me. It wasn't that hard. How bad's this next room gonna be? Okay, I'm assuming this is where I get my fire. I see a phoenix lad here. Uh, okay. Huh? What's with this ice statue? No wonder it's so chilly in here. I mean, this is no ordinary chill. It's kind of a creepy feeling. I bet there are monsters nearby. Better be careful. Well. Oh yeah. Whoa. What? Fucking what? Dude. 
Holy shit. Ugh. Oh, man. Okay. What the fuck? Uh, bomb? Oh, bomb does get him. Wow, bomb fucks this guy up heavy. Damn, okay. So bomb stuns him, slash does a ton of damage, and then you just gotta do the finishing blow and he's done. Okay, that's not bad. Not bad, actually. That was a pretty pretty simple fight. Uh, not too shabby. I can handle that, I think. And now we're hopefully going to get the fire. I am super ready. Now that we have the fire, we got a lot of exploring we gotta go back and do. There's quite a few things that we were missing there. So, we have to keep an eye out. This phoenix is only a statue, right? I mean, it looks like it might take off at any moment. Can you guys say new power time? Hold on to your butts. Let's see here. What are we missing? Looks like one probably here, one around here, and one around here. There we are. Phoenix acquired. The burb. Is that, uh, is that Moltres? So we're now Firebender, Waterbender, <laughs> Uh, Windbender. Ah, Hamasrasu. Origin of all that is good and mother to us all. Sealed away by the dark forces. I've spent years in this cave. Time passed, but I was unable to make my way to freedom. But now, your power has lifted the curse that plagued me. I, Mogami, god of flames, lend you my fiery power. Burn a new source of light into the obscure darkness. No problemo. I think I can... I, I'm kind of excited to burn some stuff. Wow. Never expected to find a brush god here. We got a powerful ally just when we needed it. Ogami is the most fearsome of all the brush gods. His technique, known as Inferno, reduces almost anything to ashes. Who should be our first victim? I know. That ice over there. Listen up, Ami. Inferno is based on the power of fire. You gotta place your brush on a source of fire and draw a line. The power of fire will surge into the line, creating an inferno. But actions speak louder than words, so try it out on that ice. Alright, lads. It is fire time. Uh, excuse me. Did I not connect it to the ice? I thought I did. I don't know. I, I guess I didn't. That's one hot technique. It'll probably only singe a few scales off that Orochi. But it'll make crispy critters out of the snake's underlings. Good deal. Okay. Ooh. Did you guys see what I see? Uh, excuse me, Bomb. I even drew such a nice circle. What have we got in here? Infinity Stone. Okay. And... Okay. Guess we're ready to go up. Alright, lad. It's been so long since anyone stopped by. I was worried the crank was gonna rust from lack of use. Well, let's crank this thing on up. Fuck yeah, lad. <laughs> Damn, this guy loves cranking. He's like the Zelda windmill guy from like Majora and Ocarina. Look at that dick mask. Anyway. Anyway. Oh boy, pupper. Easy, Sid. Where the hell am I anyway? know where this is. Oh, this is the opposite side of the chef's room. Okay, cool. So we should be able to get another ingredient from this fight. So, can 
I... Oh, yeah. I'm assuming if I burn you, does burn work better than bomb? Ah, uh, burn works pretty good, I guess. I mean, honestly, bomb works pretty good, too. Like... Burn, burn is definitely good. But, uh... Bomb is no slouch either. I really don't think that was that much quicker than my bomb technique was, but I mean I'll take it. It's kind of more tedious to draw to where the to draw the fire versus just drawing a bomb. Oh, there's the ice lips. Yikes. All right. Well, let's go ahead and save. I'm just really curious, can I burn these barrels in here? Yes, indeed. Ah. Not those ones, though. Uh, okay. Fair enough. Well, okay, there was a chest out in the start of this dungeon, like the very, very beginning where we got the mask. I want to go check that out real quick. I'm going to save here. And then we have a few places we need to go back to now that we have fire. Making steady progress here. What are we up to? Eight brush techniques? So we have what? Five left. That's it. I think there was 13. So we're, we're cruising right along here, boys. Uh, so I could burn... Wait, there's no fire here yet. So I can't burn anything yet. Uh, why is this lit up over here? Oh, okay. Little clover friend. Ah, uh, excuse me. Alright, let's go check the chest out that was back in the beginning. I'm just curious if there's anything in there. I mean, well, obviously there's something in there. I mean, anything useful. But either way, my, uh, my OCD's not gonna let me leave that chest unturned. So, let's go see what the hell's in there. Gotta be something good, right? They wouldn't just tease me with a cool chest, would they? Really? Exorcism slip, huh? Uh, okay, I lied. It's fucking Garbo. Not very good. That's alright. Man, all that, and that's all they give me. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna head back and finish exploring this cave. We should be able to just ride the elevator back up. And then now that we have ice, we had a couple doors we could open, I think. At least one. There was one down in the basement, too. I forgot about that. Like down, yeah, like down here there was an ice door. I wonder if I should go there first. Oh, but I, didn't have, I don't think I had a fire source yet. Let me see what was down here real quick. I don't think I could actually light that door. I don't think we had any fire. Yeah, there's nothing burning down here. There were those torches. Or sorry, yeah, well, I mean, they were. There were torches over here, but they weren't lit. Yeah, see, there's no ice, or there's no fire there yet. So, I guess we actually can't do anything here yet. So, we're gonna have to head up, I think see where that gets us okay so yeah maybe maybe this is like a return path or something whatever's going on here we ain't doing anything with it yet so I guess we're gonna go up let's see what else we can do up there all right elevator friend you gonna take me up are you do you not go up do you only go down? I guess I could take the thing back up. I could take the plant. Fuck, is he really not gonna hook me up, huh? That's disappointing. What? <laughs> what? Holy shit. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, 
Oh, so I guess the first order of business would be to... Yeah, we still can't get in here without a key. I think the first order of business would be to, I guess, draw a new bridge in here? I think we can repair this. Well, I mean, you are actually heavier than you look. The power of yours... Yeah, okay. So, let's make a new bridge. And then we're gonna bust this wall open, this door, and then wham bam. Hopefully that'll get us a key, whoops, for the top door. Excuse me, torch. There we go. And is this gonna be another, this is gonna be another item here. So we're three for four already. Moving right along. We have to fight now, four lips. Oh, it's fire lip. Fire eye, I guess it's not lips. Okay, well, so in this case, I would, I guess fire's probably not gonna work. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, what if I join them together? Does that do anything? Yep, there's one down. Oh, fuck that. That, please. Slow down, friendo. Uh, fuck, I don't like this guy. Alright, let's try bomb. Bomb work? Oh yeah, bomb gets some good. Okay. We can just finish him off with the... Okay. So... Okay. My... Oh, I'm still... My butt's on fire! Damn, dude. Okay, there we go. The butt was toasted. the eyeball of fire and I guess we're going forward through the ice seems simple enough I don't I really like the overworld exploration is fun there's no doubt in my mind that the dungeons are my favorite part of this game so far uh, see I need a way to get these bad boys lit like can I yeah how do I light you guys because there's three chests in here no fucking clue. Looks like I can like drag it all the way. Trying to pull that off? Oh, I think I probably could in theory. It's the camera. There we go. That's what I needed. Can I do that? Uh, that wasn't quite what I wanted to do. Wait, are you fucking kidding me? Can I not light that torch on fire? Really? Well, I guess I can do it this way. I mean, I feel like this is not the intended way. I feel like you're supposed to bring this from here into that room. Oh, fuck, they melt. Or they, they refreeze, I should say. Uh, I feel like you're supposed to bring it into the room and light that torch on fire, right? Oh, fuck. Uh, but I can't seem to find a way to light this lad on fire. weird. I really feel like that should work. I drag that. I mean, whatever. Still super weird. What the fuck is that? Exorcism slipped large. I, I don't know. This is so strange. I really want to try and do this just to see if that's how I'm supposed to do it. Like maybe these maybe these get lit up later as like a story thing, and maybe I'm just maybe I'm actually skipping ahead of what I'm supposed to be doing because this apparently does not work. I don't fucking know, man. It does not appear to work. So I guess we're just gonna go. We have the key. That's all that matters. Let's get through that door. Ruh -ruh. Get spooky. That was a roachy, no doubt. Sounds like he's hungry or something. No. Maybe he couldn't wait for his appetizer. He hasn't eaten pork kushi first, has he? This better get moving. We gotta get one more, uh... One more item here. One more food item. For the appetizer. Dude, these freaking eyeballs, man. <laughs> these locks are the creepiest shit. So weird. 
what do we have in here exactly? Quicksand? No, not quicksand, just regular sand. I'm assuming I don't want to fall in the pits. Don't play with the ball. What's with all the sand crumbling off the ceiling? I mean, we better be extra careful around here. Yeah, I think you're probably right, friendo. Uh, so wait, can I like light the ball on fire? No, see, it definitely does not work. Okay. What? I thought I saw a path for a second where the sand went by. Yeah, what? Okay, fair enough. Uh, do I really want to try and dig in the fucking quicksand pit? This seems like the worst idea I could ever possibly have. Like, even for me, this is poor life choices here, lads. There's no fucking way this is gonna end well for me, right? And all this for a clover. Oh well, got those five preys. Oh, well, everything went better than expected, I guess. Uh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Oh, is this gonna, oh, okay, that lights all these. Okay, so there we go. That's kind of what I was worried about, like, oh. Oh, fuck. Oh no. Moon cave map. Uh, so now we're gonna have to. Oh, so we gotta push this ball. Fuck. This is going to suck. So we gotta push the ball all the way over to that switch without dropping it into the sand. Wow, this room is gonna be hot garbage. Oh, man. Wait, what? Oh. Yeah, this is bad. This is real bad. How, 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 how is that rolling in that fashion? Does Slash work better? No, Slash doesn't do shit. Wow, this room sucks. <laughs> okay, this room fucking sucks. Uh, this is gonna be the worst, and then some. Should've known it was way too easy. So we gotta get this like across. It's just straight across. But I just gotta line this up just right so I don't biff this here. Oh god, it's gonna go in the fucking hole. Fuck! Oh, this room, man. This room. Zero out of ten. Oh, please. Come on, friendo. Oh, fuck, this room's going to suck. Don't. You go off the edge, damn it. Don't. No, I hit you the other way. Oh, and then I fell. Wow, this room. Not good. Not fucking good. Come on, ball. There's no need for things to be this way. Oh, fuck, that's bad. No! Nah. It's going over the edge for sure. Maybe? Oh, great. Oh, man. Dude. Painful. Oh, that was stupid. I don't even know why I did that. Getting this cross here is going to be a bitch and a half. But I can't even see. Oh, Jesus. I can't even see where I'm going. And this is not, like, I, I can't even explain to you the ball physics here and how fucked they are. Uh, did I glitch it? The ball appears to just be floating in nothingness. I think I need to just knock it off the edge for the rest of the way. Uh, yeah, this is not, not good. The, the head bonking of the ball physics. Why did I do that again? Why did I do that again? The ball bonking physics here. Not great. Not fucking good. Um, dude, I just can't get this thing to go straight. Like, it's in such a shitty spot. 
I already have to hit it at basically an angle to even get started. And I just end up sending it in the wrong direction. Alright, that's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good start. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Nice and straight. Not like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now we're moving. No! Don't go over the edge! Oh, fuck. Please don't go over the edge. Let me see if I can salvage this. Oh, thank God. Oh, ho. lads. We fucking saved her. We fucking saved her. Wow, that was really dumb. That was not a good puzzle. Uh, I, I did not really enjoy that very much. Okay, we did it though. We just gotta bonk it in the stupid hole. There we go. So now these things are hopefully gonna be permanently lit forever. Now we can go back into, I guess we'd wanna go down into the basement now? Oh, we can also go up over here. Interesting. Why do I wanna go up here versus down in the basement? What's this guy upset? Wait, is this a merchant? What are you? There's a chest here, lad. Incense burner. Are you a merchant? You are a merchant. Wow. Really? Hooking me up heavy with a merchant, huh? Well. Whoops. Oh, uh, whoops. Uh, what do we have here? Okay, I'm not gonna buy any of this. I'm not gonna buy any of that. Oh, we have max yen. Uh, that's not good. My money is maxed out, I think. I should probably... I guess I'm gonna buy some mermaid coins or something. Some feed bags. Did not realize I was maxed out. Let's buy... 15 of these. 5 of each of these. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's all for a merchant, huh? So I guess now we want to go down into the basement. Or wait, what? Hold on here. There was another room back there. There was something over there that I missed. Oh shit. Oh shit. Alright, hold on. What? Well, we might as well save since we already fell all the way back down here now. Uh, Kutani pottery. Yeah, since we're already since we already fell, I might as well go save and then we'll uh, we'll go back up there. There's another room marked up there that I was missing. Oh, there's something over here too. Huh? How did I miss all these rooms? I don't really know. We're gonna have to go. We're gonna have to go check all this out though. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna... I think the save refills my health, too, so let's do that. And then we'll keep going. We only need to find one more food item. Alright. Yeah, refills my health. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna have to get a yen upgrade here soon. Which is 150. Maybe I'll get that with my next one. Cause yeah, our money situation, I didn't realize it only maxed out at nine ninety nine thousand. 99,000. I don't even know how much yen I've been wasting this whole time. So there was a hidden room in here off of that path where the, where the thing was, huh? Let me double check all this now that we have the map. Cause that is super weird. It's right off of the, yeah, right off of this wall here. Huh. I don't know how I missed anything there, but okay. Yeah, right here. So, do I want to bomb this? Oh, that's fucking sneaky. Look at that shit. Bombable wall back there. Ha. Huh. No shit, lads. That is real sneaky. 
vengeance slip. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that is some real cheeky shit right there. I, uh... Huh, I'll be damned. Oh boy. Okay. There we go. Alright, so now I guess we want to go down into the basement. Uh... Now that we finally have the switches on, we should be able to get whatever's through that door. That ice door that was over on the far edge. Wait, is this only a one-way boy? Oh, it is a one-way boy. I guess I gotta go out this way. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. There was something else up here, wasn't there? There was another room I missed up here. Uh, let me go back up. I think I missed something else up here in that. In that room where the where we used the key? Where we had to do the sand puzzle? Yeah, there was. Oh, wait. Yeah, it was on the other side over there. All right, let's go check this out. I can't, I can't leave all these rooms unexplored. It's gonna drive me crazy. So it was like... Right on the other side of the fake bridge here. I'm guessing hidden behind the sand pile? Well, I don't know. I mean, it's marked, like, right here. I'm gonna drop a bomb here and see. I... I don't know here, lads. I... Really know. It's marked like right here where I'm facing. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing here. We tried bomb. Don't know. Don't know. But we're gonna go back into the basement. Is there any way to get up there? I don't think so. All right, basement time. Let's see about getting in that door. Oh, I almost, I almost went down in the, the poison pit again. Mistakes were almost made here. All right, so I think what we want to do. Oops. Yeah, then we'll have to use some. Uh, Use some lily pads and I think some wall jumps here. Put a lily pad like right up there, snug it up against the wall. Wall jump, see ya. Okay. Is this the. Wait. Is this not the way to go? Fuck, this isn't even the way to go. Okay. So wait, I totally missed a room somewhere then. I thought this was gonna be the way forward. This was just a backtracking spot? So... What the hell? Whoops. What the hell did I miss here, then? Maybe it is time to ring the... Maybe it is time to ring the bell. That's the only thing I think I can do now that we have the fire. Is ring that bell out there. So I guess we're gonna give it a go. I don't think there's anywhere else we can get to at the moment. So we're just gonna, just gonna send it. Yeah, cause I could do that. I could light this thing on fire. What does this do exactly? Oh, is this gonna be like a super water spot? Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. I see, okay. Simple enough. This is gonna take me probably further up, I'm hoping. Like, all the way to the tippy top? Oh, no, this is just for... Okay. All right, then I'm still actually confused. Yeah, I'm actually confused then. I don't know... I don't really know where else they want me to go. 
Honestly. Huh. Well, I guess I better start retracing my steps a little bit. So we went in here, right? Yeah, because wait, wait, wait. So that was just where we got the treasure. And then this was all dead end. That just takes me down into the middle. I mean, they had me go light that torch. It has to be something that I couldn't get to before because of the torch. Maybe I am going to ring the bell. I'm going to try and ring the bell. Uh, yeah, the same, right? I don't know. I mean, there's still that room shown over there in on that side, but I, I can't get in there. I tried. I really tried. I don't know. I don't know how you would break the wall to get in there, really. Um, damn. So wait. What is? Let me get through here one more time, and then I'm gonna go try and ring the bell. Oh, there's a there's a treasure up there. Did I make that jump? Maybe. Uh, maybe. Oh yeah. Okay, what's this here? I'm gonna guess a straight bead. Oh, just a clover. Oh, is that enough for the the wallet upgrade? 150. Really close. Uh, so what the fuck do I want to do here exactly? I'm legitimately a little stumped here now. Oh, am I supposed to... Wait, 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 wait. Can I win this? Oh, I see. You were never supposed to just see that once and just guess. You were supposed to use... Oh, I'm an idiot. You were supposed to use the wind the whole time to get you across here. I see. Is that a path up there? I don't think that's a path. That way. Huh. Okay, well, that makes more sense. I still have no goddamn clue about this little room here. Not. Whatever it is, that's not it. So what the hell am I missing? I have this here. I mean, am I supposed to use this launch pad? I don't know what this would do for me. It's not even a good launch pad. It's just one of the ones that I fall from. Uh... Yeah, why would I ever want to use this? This one sucks. Huh. When I see... Oh! Oh! I am a donkey. I'm a damn donkey. I never even saw that up there. Don't know how I missed it. But I totally missed it, like, three times. We've been through here quite a few times at this point. And somehow I never caught that thing there. I see. I see. All makes sense now. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of this. Oh, man. These jumps still make me really nervous on the, on the things here. Uh, do not use the cannon. It's out of order. I want to do just the opposite when I see a sound like this. Uh, me too, I assume. I guess I should change my title to Assume the Fearless. This guy knows what is up. So what do I want to shoot here exactly? Do I want to shoot over there? Yes, I want to shoot that wall open. So we need to freeze the cannon. Probably like around here. I'm assuming the fuse has to burn down a little. Yeah. Is that it? Did I get it? I don't think I got it. Oh, that was worse, I think. Let's 
try this again. Try like here. Might be easier if I line myself up with it from the beginning. That's too far, I think. Yeah, I think I want to shoot that door open. You can see the little pathway over there that's not actually open yet. I think I want to bust that bad boy open. It's just a matter of... Let me, let me try from back here. Might be easier. Yeah, I think this would be easier. So I need to shoot when it's facing, like, straight up on the way that I'm currently facing. So maybe, like, here? Oh, that's it. That's money. There we go. Okay. There we go. See, not so bad. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I didn't, I didn't do enough wind. That's all right. Uh, what's an easy way to get back? There. Fuck. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Not enough wind power. It's all right, though. I guess really it's not that big of a deal. We'll just what, run back through here. I can't hit that from here, can I? That is that gonna open up from here? Oh yeah, it does. Here, we can just do that. I think. Maybe. Come on, flower. Don't do me like this. There we are. Okay, never mind. No big deal. And then like that. Wham bam. Get the pupper up on the fourth floor. Wow, look at all the shit in here. Can I slash all these? Yeah, we can. And the rocks are full of peaches? Oh, fuck. Oh, this guy doesn't even matter. We can just beat the crap out of him. Oh, he actually hit me that time. <laughs> Never mind, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Uh, is that it? Okay. So at the end of this, we get our last food item. Ooh. Where would one acquire some fire? Wait. Yeah, where actually would one acquire some fire? What's in the vases? Okay, so I actually am a little confused. How... How do you want me to get through here exactly? Well, that's still, that's a long, oh, can I push this? Do you push? No. There's no way I can like curve that all the way around though, can I? What do I do with you? I feel like you gotta be movable or something. I don't know. I don't see any good way to get up here. Maybe, maybe can I wind it? Like, can I blow it over there or something? Ah, there we are. Okay. I see, I see. So can I do... Can I blow the wind this way? Yeah! Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I see what we're working with here. Oh, fuck. I got it stuck. Oh, wait. Wrong way. <laughs> Set the wind the wrong way. Now nah, I'm out of juice. But I think, I think that's, okay. We're, we're pretty much on the right track now. Just gotta wait for my ink to refill a little bit here. Easy enough. Not actually that bad. Just took me. It took me. It took me a minute, but we got there. We got there, lads. No, no problem. All right, let's melt this garbage here. Oh, I'm out of power again. Now I'm just regular wolf with a dick mask. 
Uh, are we looking footage wise? Okay, it's still not choppy. Just gotta remember to keep an eye on this capture card. Make sure it's not gonna try and screw me over again. Alright, let's get you over here so we can melt these. Let's do this all in one go. There we are. Okay. Holy bone. And. Uh, lacquerware. Okay. Cool beans. Cool beans. And this should be our last food item, and then we are good to go. Just gotta fight a. Oh, fuck. Oh, you lads. Can I bomb in here, maybe? Would bomb do anything for me? Oh, bomb works pretty good in here, I think. me, my friend. Don't you do it. There we go. Okay. Not too shabby. Show me that food item. I can't remember what the last food item was. It's more weird shit. Black demon horn. Okay. There we go. All we gotta do is go give him all the food back. Uh, and then I'm assuming this is gonna lure Orochi out. And then we get to fight him. Definitely gonna make sure we save before we do this. It's also getting kind of late, over the three hour. I really, I mean, I gotta finish this dungeon. We've already, we've already come all this way. I'm not gonna leave you guys with blue balls right at the end here. Uh, perfect landing, nailed it. Okay, let's save. Let's give this guy the food and let's see about maybe finishing this dungeon up. I hope. We've been in here for a hot minute. Let me save real quick. Just wanna wanna make sure before we do anything else here. I don't know if we're gonna get thrown into like a boss fight or anything. So I'm gonna be extra careful. Oh wait, now we have nine. Yeah, now we have nine brush techniques. So we're pretty close to having all of them. What do we have here? You brought back more than one of the secret ingredients? Wow, you're good. I just knew you'd make the perfect assistant. It was nothing. Anyway, we're kinda in a hurry. Okay. There we go. He, with each secret ingredient I add, my love for Lord Orochi shall deepen. Okay, now I have all the secret ingredients. It's time to finish off my special dish. Uh, feast your eyes, sorry. Feast your eyes on my fabulous skills, darling. With a true heart and tender loving care, I shall prepare a symphony of demonic goodness. Uh-oh. Nice juggle. I can't juggle. I can't juggle at all. So this dude's definitely got me beat in the juggle department. Ta-da. Introducing the crown jewel of appetizers. Guaranteed to bring out maximum flavor in any main course. I give you my ultimate masterpiece. Dung heap slime bucket goulash. That sounds fucking rad, my dude. This shall make that main course cushy taste a hundred sorry, a thousand times better. Well, you mustn't keep Lord Orochi waiting, sweetheart. Go to the Great Hall and ring the Epicurean bell. I shall herald the completion of my appetizer masterpiece. The sound of that melodious bell shall draw open the curtain on Lord Orochi's bloody feast. Okay. I'm going to save again, just in case we biff it. I don't want to have to watch that cutscene again. <laughs> and then we'll, uh... Okay. Hold on. Let me split the recording here.